think twice about your life, it probably happens at night, right? Fight it, take the pain, ignite it, tie into Hi. I'm Jesse Page. I'm 18 years old. If you're watching this and you feel anxious, whether you're socially anxious, you have generalized anxieties, I think this video could help you out a bit. This video is specialized towards back to school, but I think it could help you in regards to, to life. This video isn't going to cure anxiety. Those are things that made my school experience with anxiety a bit easier, and they worked for me. They might not work for you. That's okay. And hopefully help out one person even a little teensy bit. Let's get this to 45,000 likes if you think anxiety freaking sucks and you want to kick it in the butt. And also, just so more people see this video because I think this video could really help a lot of people and I mean if you think I'm cute. Be sure to subscribe and comment done once you have done so and I might feature you like I'm doing with this person. But hey! Also, my friend Nicole helped me film this and I really appreciate that so we decided to make it a collab and I also helped her film a video on her channel and I will link it down below. Be sure to check it out. Anyway. Mental health days are very controversial which I don't think they should be. I, I see all these tweets and things being like mental health is important, mental health days are valid and so on yet at school it's still something that's disregarded. When you have anxiety you know it's real and when people just decide assume that you're making that up. It hurts. Even if you don't have anxiety, we're not robots. Like, your brain also needs days off, but also you need to make sure you spend that mental health day right. For example, I don't recommend going on social media. Maybe, like, limit yourself. I don't know if any of you guys have this, but I have, like, a few songs that always call me. If you want, I'll tell you them. Don't you Whenever I'm anxious, I always play this song. Sometimes I'm in a mood where that doesn't help me. It's super like upbeat, happy song. Just relax, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. My people, please cut out negative people in your life. I asked you guys on Twitter for help with this video and this was probably the thing I got the most and the thing I agree with the most. Honestly, having a good support system is so important. Again, this is gonna sound incredibly silly, but when I'm unhappy, sometimes I just ask for a hug. When I was in school, I never did this. Keeping that in and not telling people, it makes it worse. But that's why you also have to have your good support system that's gonna be like, yeah, here, here's your hug. And at least for me too, just as a friend, when I see people open up and be like, I really want a hug right now, like that's, that's adorable. If you feel anxious in school, please make sure you eat food. I know it sounds so simple, but it's so important. For me, in my personal situation, when I'm anxious at home, I actually binge eat, which is the worst thing to do. When I'm in public and I have anxiety, I don't eat. I don't really know why. If you have anxiety, I want you right now to just analyze yourself. Make sure it doesn't affect your relationship with food because I feel like that does happen for people and it can be incredibly dangerous to your health. And once it does become a habit, work every single day to break that habit. Every single day, I would write a note on my fridge and be like, don't tiger emotions with food, Jesse. <laughs> Someone tweeted me this and I thought it was so cute and so true. Cute little pictures in your locker. Yeah, having those in your locker can be incredibly beneficial. And if maybe seeing people makes you stressed out, just put like puppies. Okay, this is gonna sound silly, but I promise you it can actually help. Unless your school has these banned, Fidget spinners, slime, silly putty, those things can help. For me personally, when I talk into a fidget spinner in my hand, it actually makes me feel a little bit less anxious. I don't know why, it does. Also a few other things. Uh, some people tweeted me these ideas and I loved them. One was having a hair tie in your wrist. I think it just really helps to have something just in case that you can set your mind to that can kind of take your mind off of whatever is triggering your anxiety. You know, sometimes when you get really anxious in class and you can't really like just yell it out to someone, but you really just want to let go of it because you're just bottling up these emotions and it's getting overwhelming. Having a little journal to write those things out really quick and sometimes it can make that thing seem a lot less scary. Personally, I was always too shy to like reach out and make internet friends, but I remember I would watch YouTubers and they would talk about similar experiences with their own anxiety and I was like, wow, I'm not the only person that's feeling these things. There's this one girl named Jessie Page. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend watching her. The memes that she puts in her videos are more relevant than she is. Oh, or even find people that are comfortable with these traits that maybe make you feel anxious. You'll start getting control over things a lot more. It takes time. Be patient. Don't torture yourself to be a certain way. Don't be a dictator over your own body. I wish I knew that growing up. Keep trying to get more and more comfortable with what you want to do. I went through it. I'm alive. I came out confident as heck and I stuck through with what I wanted to do in my own ways of self-expression. I'm gonna feature your Instagram and Twitter posts, well hey, and your Instagram and Twitter pages. 
Even if maybe none of the tips in this video helped, but you just came out knowing like, hey, there's so many people like me that are going through anxiety, that makes me happy. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the future. Cheers.